So you're thinking about moving to the Port Orchard or surrounding area? Well, in this video, we're gonna take you around Port Orchard and show you what it's like to eat, sleep, live, and play in Port Orchard, and we're getting after it right now. What's up everybody? This is Ladina Strand, your favorite Kitsap County, Washington realtor. Now, if this is your first time on my channel and you wanna know everything about Kitsap County, we do tons and tons of videos, everything you need to know. So you wanna make sure that you tap that subscribe button and you click that little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. We get lots and lots of phone calls, emails, texts every single day of people looking to relocate here and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving or relocating, make sure you reach out to us. You can give us a call, you can shoot us a text, you can send us an email, better yet, you can set up that Zoom call, however you want to get a hold of us, we definitely want to help you make that smooth move to Port Orchard. So today we're in Port Orchard and joining us today is my husband and business partner, Vet Strand. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We're glad to have you here today. And um, he's gonna help me show you guys around. And you definitely wanna stay till the very end of this video, you guys, because we're gonna take you a tour on something new here in Port Orchard. So Port Orchard is a waterfront community, as you can see. And it's also the town that we live in. And uh, with its parks, forests, mountain, and water views, this area has so much to offer, and we're so excited to show you around. Port Orchard holds the county seat in Kitsap. It's a suburb located between Seattle and Tacoma. It's fairly close to the ocean, uh, ocean beaches, uh, Olympic National Park. It's uh, got a population of about 16,000 people, yet it keeps that small town feel and sense of community. Yeah, and also it's very close to Bremerton, which um, has the largest employer in Kitsap County, the Kitsap Naval Base as well. So it's a really, really kind of a good central location here. Mm -hmm. So the median home price um, in Portage right now at the time of the recording of this video is approximately 520,000. Um, and there's a lot of uh, homes and properties here that have a lot of big outdoor spaces, a lot of privacy, um, you know, et cetera. And we get a lot of questions about the schools here. So Port Orchard has uh, 10 elementary schools, three middle schools, and two high schools. Um, we, you know, if you wanna check out the school ratings, I recommend going to niche.com, um, going to Redfin. You can definitely you know, check out the ratings. We're not allowed to steer you in any way. But if you're looking for a home that has, you know, acreage, greenery, trees, that's close to the ocean, close to wildlife, close to all major shopping, parks, outdoor activities, then Port Orchard is that place. Mm -hmm. And you know, right, this is why you gotta reach out to us, all right? We know all these little cities, all these little towns and suburbs, what might be right for you, what might not, and we don't want you to move to the wrong city or town. So our contact information's in the description below. We're 15 minutes from Gig Harbor with more shopping and dining and entertainment like movie theaters and my favorite store, Costco. Mm -hmm. We're 25 minutes to Tacoma uh, where there's a, 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 a huge mall, which is called Tacoma Mall and uh, more shopping and entertainment there also. So Port Orchard is what I would consider an electric city with a little bit of everything. And our unemployment rate is actually quite a bit lower than the national average here. Uh, we have uh, the Navy Shipyard, which is right behind me here, which is one of the, uh, actually the area's biggest employer. Uh, we actually have a fast ferry system here that will actually take you directly from Port Orchard right over to Bremerton. We also have a great ferry system that'll take you over into downtown Seattle. So it's great for commuters as well. waterfront down here is pretty awesome there's a lot to do we've got restaurants you got pretty much everything from pizza to Chinese food there's a lot of parks down here and if you're a boat not like me we have a boat launch three marinas so if you want to tow your boat launch it or keep it in the marina yep. those are options you have So right over my shoulder here, what's really awesome is during the summertime, we have an amazing farmer's market. And then also during the summer, every Thursday night, we have a free concert here at the gazebo on the bay, which is really awesome. Down here on 
Bay Street, we have antique shops. We have Josephine's Mercantile, which is an awesome store. We also have Coffee Oasis, um, and what's really cool about them is they're the head of a program that helps keep teens off the streets. We've got Dudes Donuts if you're hankering for something sweet, and we have a lot of restaurants down here as well. So Port Orchard is known for its breathtaking views. There's a lot of great properties out here that have beautiful views of the Olympic Mountains, Mount Rainier. We have the town of Manchester, which is in Port Orchard, that has a really super cute, charming waterfront park um, that overlooks uh, the Saddle Skyline, the Cascade Mountains. There's a lot of great waterfront options out here that could be a part of your everyday life. We're gonna take you on a tour here of um, a master plan community. This is the new thing I was mentioning at the beginning of the video that we're gonna to tour is we have a master plan community out here at McCormick Village and McCormick uh, Trails. And um, I did a video um, in the past on McCormick Woods, the original McCormick Woods, and they have definitely expanded um, to include two more new communities, plus um, the McCormick Village Park up here as well. McCormick Woods has a lot of parks and we're actually standing here at the McCormick Village Park. Um, this is a new park they put in just a couple of years ago and uh, what's really cool is during the summertime they actually have like a splash water splash pad for the kids. We're going to take you guys um, on a tour of the, the new communities here, McCormick Village and McCormick Trails and um, it's basically an extension of McCormick Woods. Great location, uh, close to shopping and um, it's you know very family oriented. You've got the McCormick Village Park. So it's basically a master plan community. What's what's really cool about it, it's kind of one of the first ones um, in our area because McCormick Woods has the world-class golf course. They've got the uh, clubhouse, the restaurant. But what's unique about McCormick Village and McCormick Trails, which are coming up on here um, at the roundabout here, um, is they're actually building a boutique shopping center. So there's gonna be restaurants, there's gonna be uh, boutique shopping. We've got McCormick Village, which we're going into now. On the other side is McCormick Trails, uh, which we'll take you to as well. So some of the properties here, these new properties um, in, on the McCormick Village side, are looks like they're gonna have actually have some views, which is pretty cool. So we are on Wandering Way and that's exactly what we're doing right now. We're wandering. So this, this section here is um, the Tri-Point Homes, uh, Lennar, uh, Tri-Point Homes, they built some really nice homes. The starting price for the Tri-Point Homes starts in the mid sevens. And these are big homes. These floor plans here are like 3,400 square feet, 3,600 square feet, up to a little over 3,900 square feet. Four bedrooms, five bedrooms. So if you're, you know, if you're looking for a big home, uh, you know, great for families. These are definitely some big sprawling, sprawling homes here with a lot of room. So coming up kind of ahead of us and off to the side, you can see the big mound of dirt there. That is where the boutique shopping and the restaurant is going to be here in the community. So it's gonna be closer to the Tri-Point Homes in the McCormick Village as opposed to the other side, which we're gonna to go to here in a moment, which is McCormick Trails. The other really cool part about um, these two new sections of the McCormick Woods area is that there are, they keep extending the trail system. Um, so we're actually now up to eight miles. There's eight miles of trails throughout McCormick Woods and these two new um, sections of, of new homes that we have here. So it's pretty awesome. I mean, if you're into, uh, you know, going for walks, taking your dog for a walk. And it's like eight miles. So now we're gonna head over to McCormick Trails. And there's actually several more builders over there. We have, um, wow, we have Richmond American Homes. We have um, Century Communities. We have Pacific Lifestyle Homes. We have Main View. So what's really nice too about this particular side is there's there's a lot of um, one level one level homes, um, which is really nice to see because 
a lot of these um, communities have been built have only had like two-story homes and very, very, very few options, if any, for one level. So we're coming upon the main view homes. Um, these are the main view homes here. In main view, their prices start um, in the low eights and go on up, of course. I will say that main view um, is one of the builders in here. There's actually two, there's two builders, main view and then Pacific Lifestyle Homes that I would consider to be more of your more custom style homes, which is nice because from a buying standpoint, you have the options to really you know, make changes, add things, you know, uh, as far as designing and so forth, interior um, options. Um, so yeah, main view and Pacific Lifestyle Homes are the two great options for more, more customized homes, but they are gonna be more on the higher priced um, end as far as the, the budget. And then we're coming up on Century Communities. Um, they actually do have a one level floor plan as well. Most of their floor plans though, however, are two stories. They start in the high fives and go on up. So all these homes along here are the Century Community homes. And then coming up here, we have Richmond American Homes. Their homes, um, they are actually surprisingly, they are offering a one-level home. This is actually the first Richmond American home, uh, community home that I have seen or community here that um, is offering a one-level floor plan. Now the Richmond American Homes start in the mid sixes and go on up from there. So the homes we're coming up on now are the Pacific Lifestyle Homes. Um, these ones here start in the mid eights and go on up. This section here is the, the houses that you can really, really customize. They're really awesome homes. It's actually being built by Garrett Custom Homes, which is a very well-known builder here in our area. These are actually kind of like my favorite because you really can go in and really customize these homes however you know you would like to have your home. There's all kinds of different options. You're pretty much, it's limitless on what you can do um, as far as building your home here. With Pacific, Pacific Lifestyle Homes are pretty awesome. And then within McCormick Woods, we have um, the Merrimack Park, which is great. It has tennis courts, basketball courts. It's got a playground for the kids. Uh, it's just a really cool park to be able to take the kids to. mentioning Port Richard has a lot of great parks. We have the Manchester State Park which is beautiful, great for camping. There's a walking path right along the Puget Sound. It's absolutely beautiful. And we have Long Lake which has a beautiful park and it has a boat launch. <laughs> which is great for kids during the summertime. We have Horseshoe Lake. We also have uh, the Kitsap Regional Park which is huge. It's got a huge playground. It's got batting cages. It's got um, a skateboard park. It's just awesome for the kids. We also have a lot of dog parks. So we're dog people and so I know you know having those parks to take your you know your dogs to is really really important. And we have a lot of those in this area. Whether you're looking to move in three weeks or three months, feel free to reach out to us. You can give us a call, you can shoot us a text, you can send us an email. We've got your back. We move into the Port Orchard or surrounding area. Until next time, can't wait to show you around.